and welcome to Sevens Big League once again. In this event, of course, the preliminary final. The winner goes into the grand final against South next week. Well, in the North's dressing room, everyone's on pretty good terms with themselves. And why shouldn't they be? The Devils have had a week's rest and they watched their opponents today, Valleys, go through a pretty tough affair with South last week. Front rower Stan Narpa is their only loss from the semi-final team. He broke a thumb in that match against Brothers. However, they have a ready replacement there and the tough campaigner in Shane Bernardin. New Zealand international Mark Graham showed outstanding form in the match against the Brethren and with some great attack also from Nev Draper, they had the opposition in tatters on that occasion. It'll pretty much happen that way again today. Add to this the slashing attack from the fullback spot and Joe Kilroy and North are looking good. Coach Graham Lowe has this team tuned to the minute, but he knows just what he's up against with that tough campaigner Ross Strudwick. Well, injuries in the Valley's camp have dominated the league scene during the week. Wally Lewis, Ross Strudwick and Al McGuinness have all had their share of problems. And on top of the loss of Peter McQuitter, the diehards followers have had some anxious moments this week. Peter Affleck takes the spot left vacant by the withdrawal of McQuitter. And if he can reproduce the form he showed last week in that position, then Valley's, I'm sure, will be fairly happy. Captain coach Ross Strudwick will be looking for a big showing today from Brian Niebling. He shouldered the burden last week following the loss of Wally Lewis, and he'll be expected to repeat the dose in this match today. Valleys have had their share of problems, but there are a few league followers who would be prepared to write them off in this match. And here's the Valleys team led by captain coach Ross Strudwick. A lot of pressure on Strudwick during the week, but there's the team. Mills the pullback, the wingers are Falvey and Muir, Klein and Wheeland in the centres. Affleck 5'8", uh, Strudwick halfback and captain. Wally Lewis in the side, Summer, McSween comes in there for Brian Niebling in the front row, Brody, Richards and McGuinness. And of course the coach is Ross Strudwick. Here's the Northern Suburbs team, fullback Kilroy, Bird, and also Warnock of the wingers, Dunn and Dutton in the centres, 5'8th and captain is Mark Murray, halfback Ross Henrik, Nev Draper the lock forward, Graham and Walker in the second row, and Dews, Canescu and Bernard in the front row. And of course, the coach for Northern Suburbs is Graham Lowe. Referee Eddie Ward blows the whistle and they're underway in the preliminary final for the 1980 league season. And that's Alan Mills, the Valley fullback, to drop back there. Did he knock it on or did he knock it back? Knocked it back, says referee Ward. There's the kick underneath. Same tactics as we had last week. But Kilroy's there, goes to the crowd with it. But he'll get up. He's not going to get into a kicking duel. He's going to decide to run. Starts to move a little bit before he'll be put down. He's a couple of metres short of the halfway. Away from dummy half this time is Bird. Richards over there to wrap him up and put him to the ground a couple of metres from the halfway mark. About to play it. See there the results of matches between the two teams this year. And it's 2-1 in Valley's favour. About to play it now with Konescu up as dummy half. Over to Henrik. Henrik charged over there by McSheen. Back it came this time to Murray though. He'll be put down a couple of metres inside Valley territory. About to play it. Konescu dummy half again. This is Graham. Campbell Dews. And the big roar from the crowd for the Zulu. But he's knocked it on. Maybe the roar frightened him, Mick. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> probably just the nerves, Bill. The big game and there. They, uh, they find it hard to concentrate straight off like that. Well, the players will be watching in this first part of the match will be Stradwick and Lewis, two that have been under a cloud for injury this week. And just seeing how they measure up, there's Hendrick away down the side of the scrum. Quickly will be wrapped up, though. That's Mills and Stradwick. A bit of a blue going on between Bernard and uh, the two props from both sides still having a bit of a tussle. Meanwhile, the oh, head butting and all yep. coming in here now. It's getting worse, yes. Bernardin's having the better of it so far. They're not going to give up. That's Konescu. About to play it now. From the play of the ball to Henrik. Still going up the centre. There's Murray. Murray's out of the tackle. He's going to score underneath the post. Goes Mark Murray. And that's the first try of the match. Away they went for a big try for Northern Suburbs. And what a great start for them in this one. They go to a lead of three points to nil. And an early start. And Murray a re a really a solo effort. Straight past the defence. Actually, the defence... I don't think it touched him. He was just evading it as he tripped there. And under the post of North, off to a flying start. Valley's in trouble straight off. Well, we get a good idea of this uh, from the head on, and you'll be able to see just uh, whether the defence did get anywhere near him. Here he is, setting sail up the centre. Dived at by Mills. He got away from Mills. A little bit knocked off balance there. But then gained his momentum once again. He could see that line, and there's nothing that was going to stop him at that stage. Meanwhile, those two props have been called out. Shane Bernardin and Craig Brody, and they've been spoken to by referee Eddie Wisdom Ward. about what he does when he's lining up for a shot at goal. The main thing to think about is to watch the ball, forget the guys that are charging down at you because 
if you've got two good wingers and we've got two good wingers, they'll get behind you. So if you jostled with the ball in the air and you haven't got it, it'll go behind you and the wingers will pick it up. But the main thing is to forget the guys that are charging down and you just watch the ball. If you watch the ball, you'll catch it. Alan Mills moving up for the shot at goal now. Here it goes, it's on its way. This one's there. No doubt about that one. Alan Mills puts it through. And North's the leading valleys by final tackle. Bird. Straight up the centre, Bird lost it. Can't be picked up. Going to be lost by valleys. Picked up by North. Play on, another six tackles. Hughes. Inside to Kadescu. 15 metres out, North. But Arden. Hendrick. He dropped, trying to find that way up the centre. Now gets the pass, Kadesh, you lost it. Big chance for North. Oh, bomb try. That's the second one, if we remember. Draper dropped the first one. Obviously hoping that Johnson can win a scrum, and he has. Goes the open side, still going. Strudwick up over the quarter line. Didn't really stretch out, did he? <laughs> He's just taking it easy. But here's the go now. Klein getting away to Whelan. Whelan on to Falvey, props, cuts back inside, got out of Bird's tackle, got away from Murray, Kilroy's coming at him, he's out of Kilroy's tackle, he lost his balance a bit, pushes away, Murray, he's still going, oh, what a run by Falvey! What a run! That was a grand run, a great winger's run. Right now, gives a chance for Valleys, one of the few times they've been up in North's quarter. Let's see if they can make a bit more headway than they did last time. Yes, and they've looked dangerous when they got up in this position on most occasions. Back it goes to Lewis, bustling up the centre, he's coming up to Kilroy, he's away from Kilroy, and he'll score! Lewis is in, and if Valleys ever wanted a bit of brilliance from Wally Lewis, that was the time they wanted it. Valleys leading North by seven points. Exactly a bit when he was walking into the dressing room. <laughs> now Sislowski has been called into action. He'll take over the goal kicking from Alan Mills. And he's got a pretty easy kick too. And he got a bit of that wind, which has sprung up pretty strongly down that end, but no doubt about it, straight through the centre. So Valleys are able to open up a lead of nine points to five over Northern Suburbs. You're right. They needed a try. Look at this long pass from Lewis. Gives them plenty of room to move. Strudwick gets it away to Sislowski into the back line already. Taken pretty high by Dutton, but got his pass away to Needling. Then away this time to Zillman. Valleys have come alive. Zillman will get up to mind. That's what a try can do. Oh, it lifts the players. It lifts them. And Valleys needed that to hello, play it, son, instead of fiddling about. Strudwick getting it across over there to Johnson. Johnson with a long one, a wobbly one. They quickly spray it away, though. Affleck got it to Lewis. Here's a chance. There's nothing wrong with the knee again. Up over the halfway. Now he links up with Summer back in centre. Strudwick saying goes straight ahead. And Summer eventually goes straight into the ground. Not too far ahead after that. Half-time Hooter sounding as Johnson takes it away to Strudwick. Strudwick dummies. Now he sends a big long one over the top to Doug Newer. Newer cutting back inside. He got away to Strudwick. Strudwick keeps it alive. Gets it away this time to Affleck. If they let it go, it could be interesting. McGuinness is going to drop it back behind him. Dived on to recover. Eventually lost it through his legs, but the referee says it's half-time. And the half-time score here at Lang Park sees Valleys leading north by nine points to five. Kicks on its way. Let's have a look at it. It is there. Nice kick by Sislowski. And Valleys go to a lead of 11 points to 5. Strudwick to feed the scrum now. Valleys needing possession out of the wish, but they don't get it. There's a little halfback Henrik. He's going for the corner. He's in. Made it look so simple. And miss. Made it look very, very simple indeed. And Strudwick seemed to be riveted to the spot. Yes, well, you actually, it was the dummy that threw Strudwick, as you'll see. Henrik picks the ball up, goes to the right, dummies, steps, and back he goes. He's wrong-footed the entire side, and by the time they recover, that corner's got very close well, and close enough this to over. There he is. As we slowly draw back, and you'll get a good idea of what it's all about. It's on its way. It's way away to the left-hand side of the uprights. Waved away. So the score remains. Valley's 11 and North 8. Johnson wasn't quite sure. He wasn't ready. He was looking around, but he decided to keep going himself now. Final tackle's coming up. What will Valleys have in store here? As Summer sends it away to Lewis. There's a little chip kick by Lewis. He's regathered. He's got Strudwick inside. He's still going. Still going as uh, Lewis puts in a little grubber kick. He's out after it. He could be the first one there. I reckon he'll win the race. No, Newer does, and it's a try. Beautiful work by Lewis again. We'll get a good look at the head on. Oh, watch the two little short kicks, viewers. You will never see that again. That's the first one. And he regains it beautifully. Then he looks for the support, puts North's defence off, stands him up and says, no, I think I'll go again. And here comes the second short kick. That's the one. And I tell you what, Muir wasn't taking any. Well, look at Muir coming. He's not taking any chances that Lewis will make it. And it's Muir's try. Oh. 
No, not uh, of course, I suppose. They all thought that it was a foregone conclusion that North would thump Bally's and uh, go automatically into the grand final against South. Kick by Warnock is on its way and it's there. Another two points on the board for the Devils. But Bally's are leading by 14. Back over to Hendrick, to Murray, to Dutton. Bump back but start to go again. Now he gets it away this time to Graham. Here's a chance. Graham looking for support. Oh, he went to put it back inside and then eventually held onto it. Kilroy's up his dummy half. He was tackled there by Lewis. Kilroy, cross over there this time to Murray. Coming back in there this time. Touch judge coming in, he wants play to stop because Lewis is down, he's in a bit of trouble too. Murray, uh, matter of fact, was there helping him for a while. Or rather, uh, Graham. Now they've lost to the North Valley's ball. Referee Ward is gonna call a halt. Lewis in trouble. Now there's a bit of a melee going on over there between the other players. Lewis is in trouble, he's having a bit of trouble breathing. Trouble with his stomach, he's pointing at his stomach. He's having a lot of trouble. Mark Graham was the one that he tackled and Graham immediately saw that there was trouble and he looked to the touch judge to try and get the play stopped. And I think they need the doctor there very smartly because Lewis is in a lot of trouble. You're not wrong, Bill. Now they're calling for the doctor very quickly to come across. Dr. Tom Dooley on his I way. I thought they should have called much earlier than that for the doctor. He's in a bit of trouble here. He's giving him some mouth-to-mouth -mouth at the moment to keep things going. He's having a lot of trouble breathing there at the moment, it's Lewis. Tom Dooley's on the way. The North Doctor is on the way also. Someone's humped up the fence there that obviously knows a bit about things, but now he's right because the Valley's Doctor, Tom Dooley, is there. Lewis. Just that little bit of magic at the back there, and it helped Strudwick, no end. Well, he certainly uh, was there when they wanted him, um, and he provided plenty for them, but gee, once again, it's North winning the scrum. Valley's just can't win. It's a Murray, he's in! Murray's in underneath the post. Underneath the post for Mark Murray. And they trailing now by one point for the kicker's dead set in front. And watch this. This is the man, Mark Graham. He had to do something. And uh, standing off the ruck, that's his uh, strong point. And he can unload the ball, as you see him giving it to Murray. And untouched and under the post. Now we'll see Warnock with the shot at goal. That'll boot them to the front. Through it goes. And so Northern Suburbs are back into the lead. 18 minutes to go. They lead by the one point, 15 to 14. They go across over in centre field and they'll just wrap it up from here. Far too slow, Strudwick. I think he telegraphed the, the whole business. Well, I'm sure he did because we were waking up to it. And if we've worked it out, Mick? Yes, everyone must have worked <laughs> it out. <laughs> that goes without saying. That's Bert over there. North have got it wrapped up now. They'll just play it away nice and tight. Coming in over the top is Zillman in the tackle of Henrik, and he's had a mighty little game today. That's Strasser. Put to the ground at the end of the tackle count. Well, he's one man short. There's one up there receiving some attention at this stage from the trainer. There's Neveling still there on a back play. Got about a minute to go at the most. Ball in by Henrik. Taken out by Strudwick. He'll get the way over there this time to Sislowski. Says Lossie, there's a full time hooter, and it's all over. All over, and Northern Suburbs go into the grand final. They've defeated Valleys by 15 to 14.